All right, folks, this is Zarek, and we're going to play The Last of Us. I believe this is the supply raid? I don't really remember. I logged on to make this uh, this video to submit it to Crisis YT. I haven't actually played The Last of Us is since about like two weeks, three weeks after, well, the online diff mode, since two or three weeks after it came out. I, I, I liked it. It was pretty fun, but, you know, it's not my, not my cup of tea. But I figured you guys might want to watch me, you know, killing some people in the background while I'm while I'm just rambling on. <laughs> I do pretty good in this match since it was my first match back and all. I start off pretty rough here. I went ahead and cut off the beginning of it because really I can't talk for 10 minutes about random crap about myself for at this moment. I'm very new to YouTube gaming. The, to the gaming community. I've been watching for a long time, watching tons of stuff, but I finally decided to throw my hat in there, and I'm loving it. I love doing this, guys. I just need some more people to, to join me and to and just give me some advice, you know? Subscribe. Talk to me about things I need to do to my channel. Give me some advice. Just, you know, comment on my games and stuff like that. I'm, I'm loving it, but I'm by myself. I'm playing with myself, and that's never fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> You always want someone to play with you. Anyways, I do pretty good in this match, actually. I think I go 13-4 uh, and four or something like that. And considering that every team actually has only 20 lives, that's pretty good. You know, I, I was I was responsible for about three-fourths of their, of their team's deaths. And uh, I do it all with melee. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to showcase some um, the melee skills because before I stopped playing and I realized how damn good I was at at just meleeing the shit out of people, I, I could get pretty good kill streaks. I actually had a match I think where I went 17 and one, which is ridiculous when you think about you know a 20 life pool for the enemy team, but meleeing is just wrong. <laughs> you know, shiving people in the neck like you just saw a little bit back ago, and just freaking hitting people with a stick and if you if you pay attention I actually don't even have a real gun for the build except for the pistol and the pistols for people who like to run away the build is really strong guys if you want to emulate it it's very very strong I tend to rely on the machete through the second half of most of the matches and the machete is most people think it's underpowered but it's not the secret is to upgrade the machete with the scissors yes it takes two hits and yes you definitely don't ever want to attack somebody who has a, a stick it's a pair of scissors but the great thing is is that if you shoot them one time with the revolver and then hit them with the machete they die that's right so the machete swings faster than the stick so the machete will always beat the stick if you go ahead and put one bullet in them before you charge them and the other cool thing about people who have sticks with these scissors attached to them is that they're always wanting to hit you, too. They're like, oh, he's coming at me, and he doesn't have a stick. I'm going to kill him. No, no, no. I done shot it once with my revolver, so you're going down now, boy. It's it's a great game. It was a great game, but I just didn't dig the online game uh, aspect of it as much. And that's because it... It was a third-person shooter, and it reminds me of Metal Gear Online, guys. And if you go and check out my channel, you'll see that I'm doing a Metal Gear 3. See, uh, a metal. Actually, I'm going to play the entire Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection from start to finish and, and just play it through. It's not really a guide. It's just... It's going to be a complete complete playthrough. They're going to, you know, all the really decent codec messages and, and, you know, some of the funnier scenes and stuff like that. I'm not going to butcher the game. I'm going to play it well, and you're going to get a good, complete story out of it. I am a huge fan of the Metal Gear series, and <laughs> I, I, I really can't tell you that enough, guys. I, I've been playing Metal Gear for a really long time. I love Metal Gear. And when they canceled Metal Gear Online, I about cried. I was so sad. I don't know if any of you guys watching this out there were Metal Gear Online fans, but jeez. If I would have only been a YouTube uploader back then, I can't wait for Metal Gear Solid 5 coming out. And I really hope they bring back the online. Hideo Kojami's confusing me though, because he, he's... He's talking as if he might not bring it back. Like he's gonna, it's gonna be co-op, like Metal Gear Peace Walker or something. He he's not. They know they've never give any gave any official 
announcement that it's going to be like the old Metal Gear Online, and they have hundreds of thousands of diehard fans. Why would they not put it up? When I'm talking about worldwide, though. In the U.S., it actually apparently wasn't super popular, but there's tons of people like me, even in the U.S., who are like, this game was the best online shooter ever freaking made. The complexity was outrageous. The only thing that stopped it from being, I think, super popular, first off, is that it was too complex. The average player who's just started out was just like, how the hell do these people do all these things? And they just keep getting murdered. They walk in there with freaking rocket launchers and get taken down by some guy with a combat knife <laughs> and a tranquilizer gun. They're like, what the hell is this shit? Some dude named Zirk is freaking teabagging me. What the fuck is this? Wait, did, he just took my rocket launcher. This is bullshit. Wait, wait. Oh, that's not right. Oh, he's humping my face. This is bull. Oh, oh, fuck this game. Rage quit. <laughs> Alright, alright. Other than that, the only thing they need to fix is that crappy ID, Konami ID crap. If they got rid of that, then there'd be a lot more subscribers. Lots of people didn't play simply because of that. So what else do I like? I have a very eclectic taste when it comes to games. I'll play just about anything if it's fun. My philosophy is, yes, I'm going to quote myself and sound like a douchebag, but time spent smiling and laughing is time spent enjoying life. I try to live my life by that, guys. I try to have fun and just just play a great game. For an example, The Flower for PlayStation Network. Don't you judge me. That game rocked and you know it. Don't, don't, don't you judge me. Everything that that game company makes, <laughs> that's their actual name, is great, guys. Everything from Journey to freaking uh, Flower, Flow, Cloud, every, everything they make is fun and, 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 and innovative. It, that That's me. I'll play anything so long as I have fun. And that's what I'm going to do on my channel. I'm going to upload games that I enjoy and that I'm playing, new games that come out, whatever we're doing here, and just try to have some fun. Hopefully you guys will join me. So I think I ran a little bit longer than my video. But, uh, oh well, you know, shit happens. Alright, so just go check out my channel. All I got right now is Metal Gear and The Last of Us. But I'm going to continuously upload stuff. I'm devoted. I'm going to put out new stuff every single day. And if you guys check out my channel and you like what I'm doing, th then subscribe. Be sure to give me any advice that you might have. Thumbs up the stuff that you like. And just hang out and chat, man. I love it. I, I want to I wanna grow this community. I want to be part of this community. And I hope you guys like what you see, man. I hope you guys like what you see. So this is Zirk, and I'm out.